Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to use the import range function to link two Google Sheets and transfer data between them. Then I'll show you an alternative to transfer data automatically from one spreadsheet to another and preserve formatting. So let's get started. In this example, I'll use import range to transfer data from this sales report to another worksheet. First, I'll create a new spreadsheet. Then I'll type in the import range formula. I need to add the spreadsheet URL and the range I want to import from the source file. I'll copy the spreadsheet URL of my source file and paste it into the formula. Make sure the URL is inside quotation marks. I'll type comma and I'll put in the range in quotation marks. If you don't include the tab name, it will pull data from the first sheet. I'll include the tab name sales and the range. A1 to E. In order to transfer the data, I need to allow access to the spreadsheet. As you can see, import range has successfully transferred all the data. It's important to keep in mind that import range does come with some limitations. If you link a lot of spreadsheets, things can get messy and Google Sheets may return some error messages. In addition, the import range function doesn't preserve the formatting from the original file. So I'll show you how you can use SheetGo to transfer data automatically between Google Sheets, retain the original formatting, and even link a large number of spreadsheets. With SheetGo, you can transfer, merge, filter, and split data from Google Sheets, Excel, and CSV files automatically. So let's get down to it. Click the link in the video description below to sign up for SheetGo. This will take you to the SheetGo web application where you can sign up using your Google, Dropbox, or Microsoft account. Click New Workflow and then click Create Connection. Give the workflow a name at the top of the screen. Choose your source file and tab. Under Transfer Formatting, enable this option, Format Cell Style and Values. SheetGo will preserve the formatting in the destination file. Then select the data processor. I'll press skip because I don't want to filter or split data. Now choose a destination file. I'll let SheetGo create a new file for me. I'll just name the file and the tab. Click finish and save. SheetGo has created a new spreadsheet and has transferred data from the destination file. It has also retained the formatting when it brought in the data. On top of that, you don't have to grant access to the source file when you transfer data with SheetGo. This means that you can keep your source file safe and private. That's how you can use the import range function to link two Google Sheets. Check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel, or visit sheetgo.com for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video.